So I was working on this project in Blender and I wanted to utilize Mixamo's auto rugging program. And if you don't know what Mixamo is, it's a free web-based program, which is essentially a library of characters and animations. There's like hundreds to choose from. It's really good if you want to just get some quick animations. But what's really cool about it is you can actually upload your own character. So I've got this model here, which I've already made. I want to apply these rigs uh, to this model. Now, if you've used Mixamo before, you'll, you'll know that sometimes you get upload errors. So let's try upload this now. I'm just going to drag and drop the FBX file into here and we'll wait for it to upload. Now that's great, but sometimes you get to this point where it just doesn't work and you may be just scratching your head as to why your character model won't upload. This happened to me a lot and it used to drive me mad. Worked out a workflow that works for me and I just thought I'd share it with you for anyone else who's scratching their heads. It might not work for you, so apologies in advance if it doesn't work, but these are just some things that I've found work for me. So just to summarize quickly, if you're finding that you can't upload to Mixamo, the first main thing I'll check is number one, are you exporting your FBX file with materials plugged in to other parameters in the principle of BSDF? If you are, that's probably one of the main reasons why it's not rigging. For some reason, Mixamo only likes things plugged into the base color. And if you stay to the end, I'll show you how, if you've got a complex rig like mine with multiple objects and multiple material slots with multiple textures plugged into all of these different parameters, I'll show you the most efficient way to get it Mixamo ready and then re-import into Blender and then reassign your materials in a quicker way than having to drag everything in individually. So yeah, stay around for that. If you just want a quick solution, that's probably the main reason why it's not working. Second of all, Mixamo is an auto rigger that only works on bipedal characters. So essentially humanoid characters that walk on two feet. So if you're trying to rig a horse or something like that, you're not gonna have any luck. And also if you're trying to rig something that is, for example, bipedal, but maybe a bit more stylized, like something like that, like a little tiny astronaut, you may have trouble with the rig because it's not, it's sort of designed to rig around sort of human shapes. So if you're going a bit extreme, you may be having issues there. Uh, third issue is most likely a topology issue. Say you haven't got enough uh, geometry in your mesh, then you're gonna have issues with that. Or if the topology is just really bad, then that's gonna cause some issues. So first thing I'll do, say you've downloaded the model from Sketchfab or something, and it's already got a rig. I would actually delete the rig, go over here, expand the armature, everything that's rigged to this armature, you'll see it's parented to the armature, select all of them, hit Alt P, clear parent and keep transforms. This is so you don't get any scaling issues because if you just deleted the rig, it may scale up depending on what your settings were. And now you can just delete this armature and we can delete these modifiers as well. So go through and delete all of these modifiers that may be related to your rig. Now this is obviously dependent on your model. If it's a more simple model, you may not need to do all this, but these are this is a model that's comprising of multiple parts. So next thing I'll do is just delete anything which you think may not be useful for the rig. So for example, I've got some objects here which I don't think are actually necessary. This is a character that's got clothes modeled over them. So if I, if I take all of this stuff off, there's actually a body in there. So I'm just gonna delete the body because we don't actually need that. This is sure I don't get any clipping when I upload the character, when arms move and things like that. It's best just to delete any mesh that's under it because the way the rig applies, it might cause the arm to poke through the clothes, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna delete all that. Plus it reduces your vertex um, and the materials as well. We'll delete all of this as well. So that's the hair, uh, the eyes, the mouth, eyelids and the tongue. We'll delete all that, we don't need that. So now all we got, is just this. So it's just the clothes and just the suit. So that was just to ensure that when when the character rigs and you start like bending the arms and things like that, the skin doesn't poke through the suit because obviously there's no actual constraints on, on the suit. The faces can poke out if you push the rigs too hard, which sometimes Mixamo does. So yeah, just delete any unnecessary stuff. Next step, the main thing I've found that Mixamo doesn't like, and this is probably the most important thing, is you'll see this is quite a complex object, right? We've got all sorts of materials plugged in to this principal BSDF. Now, what I've realized is for some reason, Mixamo does not like things plugged in to anything other than base color. So we're gonna export another FBX of this model with just the base color material applied. I still wanna have these material options though, when I re-import the file into Blender, we're going to actually take all of these and we're gonna put them in a new collection and we'll keep this as a backup. 
because we're basically going to duplicate all of these. So hit Shift D, M, new collection, and we'll put these ones as Mixamo. So what we've done is we've made a backup of these two materials. So we've got one and we've got another. This is just a step to speed up when you re-import the model back from Mixamo into Blender. This is just so that you can, rather than having to plug everything back in again, we're gonna save a backup. Instead of having to plug four objects into different parameters, we can just, when it gets to that point, we can just add them in like this. So, so just to avoid confusion, I've got a few materials with the same name. So I'm just gonna rename this one to Gantt. You don't need to do this. This is just specific for me because we're going to basically create duplicates of these materials and I want them to follow a simple name, naming convention so I can easily identify which ones are the Mixamo materials and which ones are the, the ones for final rendering. Because we've duplicated it, all the materials should update together. You'll see they got the same slot and I'm just going to hide this back up now because we don't need that. But on the Mixamo, we're going to go through and click on this number two so it creates a copy and you'll see this is assigned Gantt 001. The reason Reason why I changed the name was because it was assigned to default and it would have gone to and there was already two defaults so it would have gone to 002 and it would have been confusing so yeah we'll go through that one and then we'll go to the next one add a two add a two add a two so we're just basically creating copies of the material slots so that when we start editing this it doesn't affect um, our backup as well so again go to the next one too and you're just going to go through each material and just copy it so now that that's done we now have a copy now everything that we edit on this one so if I delete all of these, it's not going to affect um, this one. So now we have a backup. So yeah, keep that back up there. And on this one, back to the Mixamo, we're going to go and delete everything that's not plugged into base color. Go over here, helmet. Let's delete all of these ones. We don't need these. Let's delete all these ones. Don't need those. Same again. Same again with these. Same again with these. Cool. One more thing as well. Just going to go to all of these things here. I'm going to change these to opaque just in case. Change all of the blend modes to opaque. So for each one, just because I, I think Mixamo can struggle with alpha channel sometimes as well. I may be wrong about this, but just in case I'm doing this because I so change all these to opaque, opaque and opaque. And there we go. With that done, let's save this. So save as we'll call this. Just give it a name. Now we're going to go over here, select all of these, go to file export fbx over here you want to go to path mode copy and then make sure this thing selected this uh, embed textures make sure that's selected that's just so that these image textures are going to embed onto the rig onto the model it just looks a bit nicer when you upload it to mixamo you get all your materials but it's not necessary when because we're going to bring everything back into blender anyway we're going to limit to selected objects that's ensuring that you've selected all of your meshes that we're going to rig export fbx and now just locate your file. We're going to go back to Mixamo, upload character, and let's see if that works. And there you go. Works like a charm. So yeah, you'll see there's some issues with the UV mapping, but like I said, that's not too important. We're going to be bringing the model back into Blender. We can add the materials again that we backed up. So I'll just uh, rig this quickly and I'll show you what to do when we bring it back in. So yeah. Now, if you're still having issues with with your model uploading to Mixamo. It could be a variety of issues. It could be issues with the topology or just the shape of your model in general. It's an auto rigging program. It only really works on bipedal characters. So humanoids, you know, like people who stand on two feet, basically. If they're sort of blurring the line between standard human anatomy, say a character's like really, you may have issues with how it reads the auto rigging. Just something to be aware of if you are trying to upload more stylized characters you may be out of luck with uh, the auto rigger actually working because it's not really what it's designed to pick up the only issue is obviously the jetpack <laughs> is rigged as well you wouldn't really have the jetpack bending like that um i'm surprised it's you can actually see through the helmet because i thought i specified it to be opaque but hey oh let's download an animation let's give her a sexy dance we'll start I think it's the snake. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. So yeah, just download that and we're going to bring it back into Blender. Yeah, so let's rename this one Mixamo Prep. Save that. So back into our Blender project. Let's go File, Import, FBX. Let's, let's just find where you, um, where have you saved it. So I've got it here. So File, Import, FBX. Just navigate wherever you saved it. I saved it here. With your model selected, you see it's got the armature here. It may have 
automatically gone into whichever collection that you have open. So just select your armature, go to select hierarchy. This is making sure that we select everything below it. And we're going to hit M, new collection, we'll do Mixamo, import, hide this one. And now you'll see all of this. And now it's created even more materials. So these ones are 0 0.002, so it's added extra material slots. So now we have three sets of material slots. So we're going to go through this Mixamo import and we're going to go and select the original ones for each one. So anything without a number. So th this is the original. So if you see us select that, it's going to bring back all of the textures uh, rather than us having to find the textures and then plug them back in. This just saves us a lot of time. So we're going to go through each one and just do that. So change that to whichever one it is. Just match the name, but removing the number. I think I did the wrong one on that. So that's where it gets confusing because of the way the numbering works. Um, it's best to make sure that your uh, slots all have different names. Obviously, this you may this may be a lot simpler for other people. Most people's rigs may just be one object with a simple material slot. So with this one, visor, and now we have all our materials back except for this one. Yeah, cool. And now we have our Mixamo rig. And what you could do now, if you want, is just go and download all of your animations. Just go nuts, download them all, and you can download them without the skin to save um, space on materials. And then you should be able to just automatically throw them in. They should apply to your character's rig now. All right, everyone, thank you for watching. Hope this helped you and saved a few headaches. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe as it helps you grow the channel. And consider supporting me on Patreon if you find value in my content. So and thank you to anyone who has supported me. Your support really means a lot to me. And just know that if you ever have any suggestions on how I can make things better, don't be afraid to reach out. If you want to check out more of my work, you can find it at nebmotion.co.uk.